case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1986, the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois heard the case of Midcon Corp v. Freeport McMoran Inc., which tested the guidelines used by judges to determine if a preliminary injunction should be granted based on the likelihood of the plaintiff succeeding on the merits of their case. Midcon Corporation, the owner of a pipeline system supplying natural gas to multiple areas, filed a motion for a preliminary injunction against Freeport McMoran Inc., Wagner & Brown, Cyril Wagner Jr., Jack E. Brown, Coach Acquisition Inc., WB Partners and BW Partners after they announced a tender offer to acquire all outstanding shares of Midcon. Midcon alleged that this acquisition would violate antitrust laws and result in higher gas prices for its customers. However, due to insufficient evidence, the court denied Midcon's request for a preliminary injunction after an emergency hearing. The court concluded that the plaintiff failed to provide substantial evidence of antitrust law violations or reduced competition. Furthermore, the court stated that the public interest was not a relevant factor in this case and that antitrust law permits the acquisition of failing competitors but does not justify enjoining the acquisition of financially stable companies. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.